Hey, I thought I'd share with you uh, something that uh, is from the early 90s T technology, if you want to call it technology, but uh, it's a very unique plane. You may have heard of it, uh, maybe not, more than likely not, but it was only produced in the local Southern California area on one particular slope out at Glider Point by an interesting fellow uh, who came up with his own budget way of building a plane um, and it's a winger on plane and if you've never heard of it it's like what he called the golf ball plane and a friend of mine had this in his storage and um, I just I asked him if he still had it and he said yeah sure you want it so I said sure why not so I, I just wanted to share it with you it's it's pretty unique and uh, something you may have seen um, basically it's about a 32 inch long fuselage and the fellow used a uh, typical uh, um, golf club shank and developed these very unique tail feathers for a V-tail with a really large horizontal uh, elevator on it. And uh, then he used uh, this fiberglass uh, wrapped up around the mold, some balsa pieces for and aft and uh, made his own uh, homemade uh, winger on system and he made the planes by uh, I'm sorry the wings by hand as well um, I think he hand sanded them uh, out of foam and sheeted them with tape actually um, when we first saw this thing show up on the slope we think my goodness what is this thing He's, it's built with these <laughs> very inexpensive uh, parts and boy is it going to fly is it going to withstand uh, all the abuse that a slope gives and uh, he even actually would carry a, a few pairs of wings along with it in case he broke them and plus he was experimenting with different thicknesses and shapes and sizes and I think this one here is the final version of the golf ball plane and of course it gets its namesake from this shock absorber up front with the golf ball unbelievable and it's hard to explain, but uh, this plane actually flew very fast, very maneuverable, very light, very agile, uh, and it survived um, some major hits on the hill. Um, what he did is he put a carbon rod in here, surrounded this with uh, packaging insulation, and inside here are some layers of rubber plates probably about 10 or 12 of them down the length of this thing and then he put half of a golf ball on the nose of it and you can see a lanyard right there a piece of thread that actually goes all the way through here and it, it ends up inside where he's tied it off inside the fuse apparently he had problems with losing the golf ball so he put a put a lanyard in there uh, plywood parts and then he also handmade uh, all of these uh, the wing around attachments uh, the clevises and lever arms. He also used an aluminum tube to house the uh, um, the elevator assembly. I'm not sure why he used that. I guess he wanted stiffness as well um, instead of a flexible type unit. But uh, it was all devised out of his own thinking and um, very very robust little plane. Um, he actually sold these kits locally and um, it took him about a year or two to develop this thing actually. I, I probably went through seven or eight different variations of it. But have a look at this uh, this action here. It actually travels about a half an inch. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see how I can move that up and down. And uh, it'll take a hard hit. A very hard hit. You can hit this thing with all your might. And it'll it'll survive, um, but um, so that's the golf ball plane. I don't know if you, any of you out there have one. I'd sure like to see it fly again because this thing um, it, it major major speed in the rolls roll category, um, just like a, a corkscrew, and um, flew inverted, did everything. Um, you would think that this huge um, V tail section. And all this would be a lot of drag and what have you, but it really didn't um, didn't affect it hardly at all. So, um, I mean, it's obviously not 
you know, your super duper extreme acro plane or what have you, but um, very, very nice little trail plane, uh, plane you can carry with you and uh, have fun and don't worry about breaking anything. Cheap to make. I, I don't know what he sold the kits for, but um, I'm hoping to find the wings. Uh, my friend hopefully will be able to find those somewhere and I can make it a complete unit and just keep it for nostalgia's sake. Um, it, maybe somebody might want to rebuild it. I'm, I'm not really interested in doing that, but I'd sure like to see this thing fly again or somebody else who has one. Uh, just so you can see what I'm talking about. But I uh, just thought I'd share that with you tonight. And uh, that's the uh, early 1990s golf ball plane. And um, just a different approach. So there you have it. See you later.